Hey guys, it's Sabrina, the High Priestess. Okay, so I'm gonna make this kind of quick because I have personal readings, but this is gonna be a karmic read, okay? Because I feel something going on. Something going on. Something is going on. So, what I'm going to do first, um, first of all, welcome Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and Karmics, Cross Watchers, all of y'all are welcome here. Um, for the Karmics that watch my channel, your story will pop out the more you watch my channel. So keep watching, I don't care. <laughs> For real though. <laughs> um, so let's see. First, I want to do an energy clearing. <laughs> Please don't mind my daughter. <laughs> I'm gonna do an energy clearing for the vampires, okay? Mamas, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, it's black tourmaline. Archangel Michael, I call you in and I ask you to please assist me in banishing all karmics, all negative energy being sent to the collective, to me and the collective, their children, their homes. It is banished. It is banished from their energy. Anyone sending them negative energy, black magic, negative projections anything it is banished from their energy field angel michael i call you protect me against any negative energy as i channel these karmics so this is a karmic read like i said this is a karmic read divination yeah, the karmics have, have gotten a reading on you. Um, I just want to say this. I just want to say this. Okay, so Divine Masculine, I just want to say this. Um, if you've done any love spells recently on Divine Feminine, on your feminine, your twin, or, um, you know, in general um don't get hype um i just want to say like don't get hype like that shit the reason why it's not working is because one um well to me love spells is considered black magic 333 when i said that love spells is considered black magic if someone does not want to be in your energy or if someone does not want to think about you you cannot force them to think about you that is black magic um yeah okay so someone got a reading Could be an air sign aries leo Sag i said aries leo Sag okay it could be that uh libra aquarius gemini someone's feeling vulnerable very vulnerable oh your divine masculine may need some help soul ca soul cage rescue escape from captivity restriction and then we got divine sensuality all right one more from the mermaids. So your divine masculine, maybe, maybe he got a reading. <laughs> Even though this is a karmic read here. Divine masculine, you want to pop out in every reading, huh? You're trying to show out? Yeah, visions. Okay. What's going on with the karmic spirit? Experiments. Okay. So, okay. There we go. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> you guys. So, 
We're back. The the Carmens is back at it again with the sex magic. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They're back at it again with the sex magic. Experimenting with their divine sensuality. So, you know, some of your divine masters, they do need a little bit of help. They need help, actually. Yeah. They need to escape from captivity. It's crazy because in this picture, it's like it's reversed. So at one point, this could have been you, Divine Feminist. Some of y'all needed to get rescued by a succubus, incubus spirit or someone that could have been abusing you physically, mentally, or uh, spiritually. Um, a lot of feminists I know have dealt with um, 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 incubus spirits. And that brings me back to my thoughts that I, um, I was thinking this morning, like, you know, um, another reason why the love spells does not work, um, back to what I was saying, divine masculine, the reason why the love spells doesn't work is because divine feminine has been, um, put under love spells before. She knows what the fuck, um, a love spell feels like, and she knows how to protect herself from them. Um, even if niggas do try to put love spells on her, she knows how to block them. Um, and this is because throughout her life, you know, she, she's a witch. So she had to learn how to, um, you know, and she's a divine feminine. So niggas do put love spells on bitches. I, I know because there, I've had a few niggas ask me, you know, to, to do love spells on their, on their baby mother. And I was like, hell fucking no. Well, in love spells in general, I don't do them. So someone here got a reading on you. And okay. So this is what I'm getting. Divine masculine got a reading on y'all. Or he's listening. If you're a tarot reader, he's listening to the readings that you're doing, right? He's trying to, um, he, he's doing love spells. He wants you to open your heart and be vulnerable to him. Meanwhile, he's still engaged with this karmic and she's doing sex magic on him. You know the fuck what, divine masculine? Get it together. <laughs> Please get it together. <laughs> All right. So I wanna know who got the who got the definition? <laughs> who got the tarot reading, bro? Who got the tarot reading? Cause this is ridiculous. <laughs> right? Right, Raina? This is ridiculous. Divine partner union. Okay. So is the karmic token? Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so we got to clarify the divination, the divination being done. To clarify that, we got divine partner union, partner of a different bloodline. Ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. So he found out in the reading, basically, basically, what he, whatever he found out in the reading, he did not like that shit at all. He, he got, he got a reading, you know, the, the karmic popped out too. Entanglement. Yeah, he. He found out that that bitch had him in an entanglement and she was a past life lover. Yeah, this is your twin flame that went to go get the reading. Okay. So now he want to come in talking about he love you and shit. So even though this is a... See, Divine Maslin, you need to get up. You need to get up out of here. Like, <laughs> get me tight. The, divination. Divination. about to blow up your phone so okay so your divine masculine is about to text you call you communicate with you whatever he wants to talk he wants to tell you he loves you and shit blah 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 he know time ticking he know time running out so it is your divine masculine who went to get the tarot reading i mean you already know that the karmics is you know reading it up on you but there's not much they can do they can like your divine masculine though i believe some of them are still dealing with the karmic they're still having sexual relations what's the air What's the air? I'm sorry. So your divine masculine feels like he can't even breathe without you. He's in deep regret. He's sorry. He want, He's like, I can't, I can't, like, please forgive me. Oh, my God. Like, he realizes now. Yeah, he needs your energy. That's the thing. He needs your energy. He's, like, withdrawing from your energy or some shit. Like, he addicted to you. <laughs> All right, what's the air? It's a... What's that song? I'm hearing the song. It's like, 
and I can't breathe without you. I don't know if that's really a song, but somebody let me know. <laughs> I don't know. And I can't sleep without you and I can't breathe without you. Something like that. I'm hearing that. Okay, so he's very sorry. He's in his masculine energy and he's actually mad. He's getting mad. And um, I'm not sure why he's getting, he's getting emotional. That's why. Why is he mad? Okay, he's mad because of, because of the black magic. He's actually fighting the black magic to get to you. He's fighting the black magic to get to you. So he's mad because he found out about the black magic in the reading. Yeah. So he's tight. All right, so what's the vulnerability? What's the vulnerability? The chaser. Yeah, now he want to chase you. Fighting for you. He's fighting off the black magic now. What's the vulnerability? Yeah, he's walking. <laughs> Money issues, ancestors, me time. So now he wants to come chase you. He wants to open up his heart and open up his throat chakra. He's been having mis money issues and he's going to come tell you this. Yeah, he lost some income. He's been spending some time alone and he has been channeling his ancestors. He's been talking to his ancestors, y'all. 1120 on the clock. 1122. He's been talking to his ancestors. Throat chakra is here too. He's been expressing himself. He's been calling on them. Maybe for protection. Yeah, he's in hermit mode right now. He realizes that um, this karmic is, is um, the vulnerability. Child distraction. Okay. So, basically, he's unable to really spend time alone because of this child that he has with the karmic. I don't have time. I have my kid, daddy, or mommy spend more time with me. I'm your priority now. And then he has karmic family and friends as well that doesn't have good intentions. Um, and they have, they, they have him stuck in a limited belief pattern. So he's having these money restrictions because of this child and because of this karmic friends and families. And he wants to spend time alone. And he, he has been calling on his ancestors. Also, he's trying to fight off the black magic basically in order to get to you. And he's doing magic, you know, he is doing magic. He's doing magic. Cause he's fighting for you now king and queen of wands yeah he's fighting for you now now he's tight he's getting mad so that's why he's doing the love spells all right so let's see with the soul cage all right and that's why it's not working divine masculine you can't do that rule, somebody tell him rule number one <laughs> rule, rule number one to be a boss ass bitch <laughs> Never let a fuck nigga try and play you. <laughs> then rule number two. It's like, now nah, we're gonna do rule number two. What's the soul cage? Backstabbers. Yeah, karmic lover. So the soul cage. So not, you see how in that picture? You see how in this picture? He's over here trying to, he's trying to get to you. He's trying to rescue you or he's trying to like get you to be vulnerable with him. But she got him trapped. He, see, he needs your rescue. He really needs your rescue. His heart is in a cage. Interesting. I feel that Divine Masculine is still trapped in an illusion. Rescue, escape from captivity restriction. So maybe he's still binded to this karmic. And he's confused. Maybe he thinks that Okay, so maybe he thinks that you need rescuing. Meanwhile, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so a lot of your divine masculines are wizards and they're very skilled. They're able to manifest into the 3D. They're able to, uh, you know, they're business owners. They, they, some of them are very wealthy, 14, 14 on the clock. But they're losing out on a lot of money because of what, how they dealt with these karmics and because of how they played you. They're losing out on a lot, a lot of money because they refuse to let go of these karmic lovers and backstabbers any sooner. Like, they, they're they not a part of the contract. They created their own con contract, okay? They came through. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not a part of the abundance. The thing is, the reason why spirit allowed them to manifest 444 on the phone, they allowed them to be able to manifest so that they will be able to take care of you and help you. 
and um not even take care of you and help you but you guys are supposed to be able to uplift humanity together you guys are supposed to be able to come together so you can help uplift humanity and divine feminine is always supposed to be comfortable that's the reason why they gave you those gifts of abundance that's the reason why they gave you the bad gift of, of being a shapeshifter not a shapeshifter that shapeshifts into um into it's a it's a motherfucking um you know whoever they need to be in order to uh, uh manipulate people a lot of you guys have been misusing your gifts divine masculine you've been misusing your gifts and that's why you're receiving karma and, and one of your forms of karma is um that some of y'all are not going to be able to get your divine feminine back unless you um surrender and give up this this life yeah relationship over closure no letting watch my exit yeah you got to give up this life divine what's the divine sensuality passion you got to give up that life bro a lot of you guys yeah you're able to say yes or no you have free will stop some of y'all are fucking addicted to sex and it and you don't even know you're having it's not even that you don't know because you do you do it's getting me tight now okay so he's watching you divine um feminine he's watching you he wants to have sex he um he's gonna say he loves you he's been watching you. he's your secret admirer he loves you he has a lot of passion for you but there's a black widow here a karmic person from the past hidden by the veil feminine energy yeah he, he he's still tied to this person sexually he's been having sex with this person or he just recently had sex or something like that he's been having sex with a karmic energy and he has been, he's been able to say yes or no and this is the corny shit this is the corny shit masculine can't make this shit up yeah confirmation so man this this karmic gave him an std deception this is the deception here all right so what's the experiments yeah, because he's been experimenting with someone of a different bloodline, someone of a different DNA, sacral chakra, relationship, intimacy, control, pleasure. So he's dealing with somebody that um, likes to control him sexually and could be of a different um, bloodline. They could be a reptilian and he could be an Anunnaki or a Palladian and he's like uh, dealing with someone that is like a giant or a gray or a fucking reptilian. Like, And that's why he got this STD, Soul Survivor. And also he's dealing with childhood wounds. This baby mama, baby father, bitter baby mama, um, that's threatening to uh, take the kids or threatening to um, hurt the children or put them on child support, whatever she's doing, all that. She was molested as a child. And this is why she's an incubus succubus now. Instead of transmuting that energy, she don't let it take over her. She don't let it take over her and she don't let it... Um, turn her into a, the very same thing that she um yeah the very same thing that she was hurt by basically personal boundaries so now he has put up personal boundaries with this baby mama baby daddy because of this deception right because he had an awakening i prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies wolves and sheep clothing you hear that you prepare a table he will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Not for your enemies to come and sit at the table. So you're receiving karma because you let your enemies sit at the table and eat with you. When they're wolves in sheep clothing. You see that? You see how that works? The golden child, you're the chosen one. You're the privileged. You're the superhero. You're the leader. You. Not you and karmic. Karmic. Karmica. Whatever the fuck. Not you and Jessica. Not you and Ashley. What's the experiments? They've been experimenting sexually for money. That's what these bitches do. Mask off. They've been disguising themselves. Look, look at this shit. So some of them could be on social media disguising themselves. And this is why you don't you didn't believe this 1919 on the clock. Fuck out of here. This bitch is literally. Well, not not only are they watching you, but Things are hidden. They're not showing their true self. They're in disguise. They're pretending on social media. Because they're really, in real life, they're experimenting. They're manipulating the energies, forcing change. These bitches are experimenting. Some of them are having same, like, same sex. This could be you, Divine Mask, but I don't know. Some of y'all are engaged in same sex, uh, sex. 
um, experimenting, experimenting with the same sex. And also, this is, this is to me, okay, so some of y'all, y'all karmics, the karmic lovers is fucking a girl the entire relationship. She was fucking a girl. And this is hidden. Maybe she, on social media, she doesn't say that she like girls or she lies to you to say that she don't like girls. But her social media also says that she's faithful and she's not type shit. Also, this bitch, she gets, she gets, um, she experiments for money. She, okay. So when I say she experiments for money, like she gets paid to do weird shit. Okay. She, do, she gets paid to do weird shit. She takes a lot of risk in sex. So this is the type of bitch. She, yeah. Life partner. So, okay. This could be you or him. You know what I'm saying? Karmic or divine masculine. Maybe you like to do weird shit with your karmic and this has been stopping you from being able to reap the your your true powers and your true abundance. This has been decrowning you. Okay? This weird shit that you like to do with the karmic or with um a same sex person. Like what the fuck are you doing? You've been paying this bitch or trying to keep her in your life using money so you can experiment and take risk in sex. And this is what's holding you up. You under you know who this bitch is, and yet you still want you want her to ex, you want to experiment. Or this bitch was masking herself though. She was masking herself. Um, she could have been doing this with um uh, uh one of your one of your people. Hold on a second. Hello. Hey. Oh, thank you. Oh, great. Okay, so do I get reimbursed or something? Oh, yeah. I have to, I have to, um, give you my card info. Alright, so can you text me? Can you text me on how to do it? Oh, okay, okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna call them and do it because I'm doing something right now. I can't come down. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, sorry, y'all. So, um, I'm getting here that your divine masculine was taking a lot of risk with this prostitute. She's a prostitute. Okay. She hides the fact that she's a prostitute on social media. So this could be like a. a I heard stripper. This could be a uh, bartender. Some shit. She tries to say she's a bartender. She's not. All right. Let's get from the Kipper. Because I need to know the karmics. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to channel the karmics, y'all. I feel like your divine masculine at one point, he liked to do um, weird shit to bitches. Or like he liked bitches that was submissive. Sexually to do weird shit. Hello? Hello? 